Well, uh, welcome to another edition of the Critics Corner. I'm Andrew Branca, a reporter with the uh, Waxahachie Sun, and film lover. Chris Bennett. Thank you so much for having me, man. I really appreciate it. This is great. No, I'm glad to have you back in the corner again. So what are we reviewing today? We're reviewing, uh, to my uh, uh, hesitation, The Prodigy. Uh, not a huge fan of horror movies. Um, I mean, I, I first to admit, avid uh, lover of horror films, so uh, I'm glad you were able to, to brave it this time. Yeah, I kind of had a man up a little bit, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we've got The Prodigy. It stars Taylor Schilling. Some of you might know her from uh, the Netflix series Orange is the New Black. She's the main character, and uh, definitely outside of her bubble, I think. Uh, very believable, completely different character than what you're used to seeing her as. Yeah, very much so. I would say very more, a little bit more low-key in this. Exactly. Uh, and essentially, uh, to me, I think it's a completely novel, original premise, uh, which seems to be lacking someone in Hollywood these days. Yeah, uh, a, lot of, a lot of what's come, coming out now is just a, kind of a... A rehash of what's already been done, and a lot of remakes. or remakes, yeah. And, you know, frankly, I'm just kind of tired of that. And uh, seeing something new and exciting uh, is great. And to have those kind of classic horror elements in there. Exactly. Uh, is they, do, they do it tastefully enough to scare you, but not enough to be ludicrous. Right. So what we've got is, and what I told Andy earlier, I feel like it's a, um, it can be similar to The Good Son. Uh, you might remember that from the 90s with uh, Macaulay Culkin, uh, but a much, much darker version. Oh, sure. And Taylor Schilling's character and her husband have a baby uh, who actually ends up being a... Um, He's reincarnated by the soul of a serial killer. Right. An Austrian serial killer. Yeah. More specifically. From Ohio. Uh, exactly. Uh, Nothing good comes out of Ohio. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, and um, he uh, ends up uh, trying to go after an eight years old, uh, uh, the one that got away. And uh, yeah, his last victim on his list. Exactly. So, uh, who's the kid? The kid that plays uh, Jackson Robert Scott, it, who you might remember as Georgie from the remake of It, which he was fantastic in. Exactly, and, and that, that is a good remake. By oh, the way. that's one of the few oh, that uh, feel like the choice. held its own in terms yeah. of a remake. But, well, and in this film, he holds his own. I mean, if it, if it wasn't for his performance, I think it would have been really kind of a bland kind of movie. Absolutely, and you know, what you end up with, uh, you always hear uh, in film and television, never work with children or animals because they're unpredictable. And uh, in this case, with Jackson, Robert Scott, that's a role that very easily could have been overacted. And I feel like this kiddo nailed it in, in, ter in terms of the creepy factor. Uh, the, the creepy factor went all the way to 11 in this film. Uh, so I was very impressed with his work and uh, um, with the, the writing where they, like I said, they didn't overdo it and, and uh, they were able to set the creepy mood, the creepy factor. Well, I would also say that uh, for eight years old to do two different personalities, you can, it's almost like a light switch. You can see him go from the scared eight-year-old to this evil, diabolical killer in a flick of a switch. Exactly. And the smile he has and, and the, the way the stare, oh, it, it shivers you down to your bones, man. I mean, no. So, um, all in all, uh, it, I know we've done two in a row now that are not family-friendly. I would not recommend taking your own eight-year-old to see Yeah, this. if you want to scare your eight-year-old to death, uh, uh, right. you know, by all means, do not take your kid to go see this movie. And, uh, I'm not easily scared. I'm, we were talking earlier, I'm a huge uh, horror fan, and uh, it, it's hard to get me interested in a horror film. And this one sucked me right in. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was uh, I was there from beginning to end, and if I had popcorn, it would have gone all over everywhere. <laughs> so it was really, really a good movie. I would say, you know... It wasn't the stupid horror where you have the guy mm -hmm. with the axe chasing the teenagers around and stuff like that, or you know, on, on, on the long the lines of like Saw or 
Yeah, there are very few tropes uh, that I feel like the characters fell victim to. There, there were a couple, but um, all in all, like I said, very original. So I, I think I would give this film an 8 out of 10. I'd give it a 9. Yeah. I, I thought it was very good and very well done. And, and kudos to the actors and director. And the writer. Yeah. Yep. For sure. Awesome. Well, uh, I'll look forward to doing this again. Oh, I do too. And, um, you know, if you guys have any uh, thoughts or suggestions on what you want us to see at the theater, please uh, uh, shoot us, shoot me an email, and we'll, uh, we'll definitely go take a look at those. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Andy. Well, thank, thanks again for coming into the corner, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Sounds good.